Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is where you are. It's a good time to be joining me here on my YouTube channel. Hi, my name is Joe, and today I have a collective haul for you guys. It's essentially what I got for my birthday. Um, I'm gonna start from least exciting and work my way up. They're all exciting for me, but you know, some some are inevitably better than others. I'm gonna start with this. I think this is called Kitsch. And it's a hairbrush cleaner and I feel like this is going to be so handy obviously I haven't opened it yet so I'll do that and do a demo and see if it's it's worth the money here we have my dirty hairbrush I'm gonna try this in first see what that's working with boom and we have pulled the hair out can you see that so far so good and then i think this would clean like a comb so really excited about that and because after i pull like the hair with this i then have to grab it with my hand i'll give it a seven the other kitsch thing that i got their hair ties they look like this they're super stretchy and they do not break which i love uh I have pretty thick hair, so sometimes, you know, you make it on ponytail and snap, it's gone. But I've had these, this is my second time purchasing these, never broken. Next thing is the Color Wow Extra Strength Dream Coat. I've only tried this once and it was just like on a couple of pieces of my hair, so I can't give a full review on this yet. But the original formula really, really helps get my blow dry straight, so love that for me next thing i have is a sweet sweat band i had a black and pink one but wanted to get the nude colored one i have the like arm slimmer as well and my old one was just you know it was getting raggedy so time to get a new one i think this is a bigger size than the one i have right now so we'll see how that goes i need to get my button shape in this will hopefully help Next thing on the list, a pair of Nikes. These are the Nike Revolution 5s. This is my second time having a pair of these. My other ones are very old and I wore them to paintball in and do all kinds of other things. I need a new pair and they look like this. They're just plain black and white, can wear with lots of things. These will be what I exercise in. Very comfortable. They run, they run true to size, would totally recommend the Nike Revolution 5. Next on the list is an Amazon purchase, this little tripod. So it's rechargeable and it has like a motion sensor. It follows you when you walk around. That way you don't have to keep setting up or moving your tripod. Um, I will say that this won't keep up with you if you're moving fast or a lot. Um, I tested it out in my kitchen. I just had to make kind of slow strides for it to keep up. So it's not a 10, but if you aren't going to be like, pew, 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 it might work for you. Um, a couple of times, like I had walked and come back and then it was like, oh, like what, what's happening? So definitely don't try to get this and move around quickly, but it does do a decent job. Next on the list is a perfume that my husband bought me. So I'm pretty sure you say this, Kaoli, but I got the Eden Juicy Apple. I had a variety set just to try out the scents. People were raving about them and I feel very iffy about buying perfume on life because I don't know what it smells like. So I bought the variety thing and really liked this one. This scent is my favorite by far, comes in a very cute bottle i love this highly recommend it's like a sweet juicy kind of smell what are the notes juicy red apple wild berries jasmine lychee vanilla flower sensual musk totally recommend this next we have a very impromptu pair of sunglasses that i bought after my birthday dinner I was probably a little tipsy, not gonna lie. There were these really cute Gucci ones that was going between these 
and the Gucci ones back and forth, blah, 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 blah. But these were just so much more affordable that I went with these. I do like these, but the the price difference definitely played a factor. I'm still thinking about those Gucci ones. But here they are. So it's like black aviator style glasses and it has the little logo across the top. It says Versace on the side. They're cute, you can't see my eyes. It's a vibe, I'm feeling it. I don't know why I keep gravitating towards Versace sunglasses. Like if you ask me what my favorite brand is, it's gonna be either Gucci or Louis. Well, Louis number one and then Gucci, but here I am with all these Versace sunglasses. It's crazy, but. I really like these, happy to add them to the collection. So far we had been going through gifts, but I did purchase those sunglasses myself and I paid $249 for those. Not that bad. Next item is from Miss Tori Birch. I saw these, where did I see these? In sacks, um, they didn't have my size and they weren't very nice to me, so I did not want to order them at Saks. And then I saw them at Neiman Marcus on sale in my size, so I ordered them. Here they are, it's a metallic gold wedge. I literally just got rid of my last pair of wedge shoes and then bought these. Wedges are making a bit of a comeback, and these are very, cool and unique so i went for them they do make these in black and then the tory birch logo is gold and then like one has a raffia heel if you like the shape but just not necessarily this color or you want to get multiple colors they have it available um these are on sale for like 220 ish dollars at a couple of different places right now i know i got an email from bloomingdale's saying that they had them on sale. So it's a good time to purchase. All right, I have three fantastic things left. Two from Louis, one from Dior. We'll start with this one. My husband got this for me. We shall unbox it. Of course, comes with the little dust bag. Here she is. So this has this gold chain strap that is detachable. You can see the Louis Vuitton logos throughout the bag. And then it also comes with a adjustable, well, semi-adjustable leather strap. It looks like this. The inside of the bag looks like this. There are no pockets on the inside. Just one open space. In my opinion, this bag is pretty small and it looks super small compared to my booms. Like, because I am blessed here, this really makes the ball, the ball, the bag look even smaller. Like, just wearing it on my shoulder, just. It's interesting and I can't personally crossbody this because it's like a little tight and short and then brings additional attention to my chest, which I don't want. So if you are shaped anything like me, keep that in mind, but she's very cute. Like her, I can fit my phone in her. Haven't used her yet, but I'm excited and happy to have her in the collection. Thank you so much, husband. Next to show you, some shoes from Dior. We went to DC to see Drake and of course did a little bit of shopping. Went to the Dior store and they didn't have any men's shoes which is literally why I wanted to go there but they did have women's and I got me a little something something. My husband bought these for me as well because he is so kind and nice okay so i got these slides 
um they're pretty new i think she was telling me that they made this paris kind of print in like a white but this was their first time doing this colorway which i really like it's a good neutral won't get super dirty um yeah i really like them they're comfortable easy to walk in i have worn these four times i think already um the christian dior on the inside is still in there i know people have talked about that coming off out after their very first wear so that's still intact i got these in a 39 and i'm a us eight and a half so cute what is so crazy about these to me oh uh, here's the other one is that you get this little card in there and it says that we recommend that you do not wear your shoes more than two consecutive days you are their shoes like what do you mean so do with that what you will but i really like these i think they're easy to wear and will go with a lot of things in my wardrobe mm -hmm. love you okay last but not least we have a bag from louis vuitton i've been eyeing this bag for a while i really wanted it in this like seasonal floral blue that they did but did not get it and i missed out so now i have this one very excited for her all right we shall pull the ribbon uh, get off me sales associate in louis vuitton was very nice it looks so small in here any guesses ah, we've got the loop bag so excited i think it's so pretty it has a cute little shine and sheen to it i feel like it's kind of a neutral but also a pop i feel like she's versatile i love it this gold strap is detachable and then it comes with a leather strap the leather strap is adjustable what a cutie it comes in like the normal monogram and some other variations as well i hope that you enjoyed this haul if you want to see a more in-depth video about any of the items i showed just let me know and i can do that thank you so much for watching subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you are still listening don't forget to have a great day k thanks bye